What's going on everyone? Mike here with the very first Fantasy Puck video for the 2021 NHL season. Today, I'll be bringing to you 5 late round sleepers that can help you win your NHL fantasy season. The first sleeper on this list is Nick Suzuki of the Montreal Canadiens. Drafted 13th overall by the Vegas Golden Knights, Suzuki saw his time in Vegas cut short when he was traded to, the Mo to Montreal in the Max Pacioretty trade. Suzuki played his first full NHL season last year, putting up 13 goals and 28 assists to cap off a 41-point rookie campaign. The future number one center for the Canadiens showed signs of greatness last season, living up to his first-round potential. With the acquisition of Tyler Toffoli and Josh Anderson, Suzuki now sees himself centering two 20-goal scorers for this upcoming season. The Canadiens' play style is different than most teams, and this could be beneficial for Suzuki. Philip Deneau takes the duties of the shutdown role, leaving Suzuki wide open to play against team's second and third lines. Along with the power play time, the upside for Suzuki is high. He's currently ranked 169th and is center 51. You can start to look at Suzuki beginning in the 10th round as a solid depth center for your fantasy team. The second player in this list is Denis Gurionov of the Dallas Stars. In his first full NHL season, Gurionov managed to put up 20 goals and 9 assists in just 64 games. Although 29 points doesn't seem substantial, Gurionov has outstanding goal upside coming into the 2021 season. He flashed signs of his true potential in the playoffs where he managed to put up 9 goals and 8 assists in just 27 games. The 23-year-old is coming off of a solid rookie season for the Stars and will continue to build on that success for this upcoming season. There is risk associated with Gurionov as Dallas Stars head coach Rick Bonus is notorious for rolling all four lines, which means Gurionov's time on ice is restricted. Gryanov's currently ranked 239th and is right winger 33. He's a solid pickup in the late rounds of the draft as a depth winger with high shot and goal potential. The third player on this list and the first defenseman is Matt Grizzlick. Last season with the Bruins, Grizzlick managed to put up 4 goals and 17 assists in 68 games. With the departure of Tori Krug, this opens up the door for Grizzlick to step in as the quarterback for Boston's fantastic power play. Last season, Krug was on and off injury, and we saw Grizzlick step up to lead the power play from the back end. Boston has the second most power play goals last year, scoring 57, trailing only the Edmonton Oilers. On top of power play time, Grizzlick should also see an increase in 5 on 5 ice time if Zidane Chara decides to retire. Grizzlick is currently going undrafted in most drafts, and given his power play upside, he can be a solid late round depth D man. The fourth player on this list is defenseman Ethan Bear. Last year was Bears' first full NHL season, where he managed to put up 5 goals and 16 assists for the Oilers. Oilers D-man Oscar Kleffbaum is recovering from shoulder surgery, leaving the door wide open for Bear to play on the top pairing in the top power play unit. In his rookie season, Bear averaged over 21 minutes time on ice, and this only increased as the year progressed, where he played close to 23 minutes a night during the playoffs. Although the Oilers have signed D-man Tyson Berry, he has not proven anything yet, and this leaves Bear as one of the top D options for the high-scoring Oilers going into the season. He's currently going undrafted in most leagues, with ESPN's ranking him outside of the top 300. Similar to Grizzlick, Bear can be a solid late-round depth D-man to round out your fantasy decor. The final player on this list is Capitals forward Jakob Vrana. I had high hopes for Vrana going into last season, and I'm high on him again going into this season. In 2019, Vrana managed to put up 25 goals to add to, 50, to his 52 points in just 69 games. Throughout most of the season last year, Vrana played alongside center Nick Backstrom and winger TJ Oshie. Their line was one of the most productive offensive lines in hockey, as they produced 3.02 expected goals for per 60 minutes. Vrana also saw time on both Power Play 1 and Power Play 2, giving him an ample opportunity to have yet another great season. ESPN currently has Vrana ranked 154 and right winger 24. You should look to draft Vrana in the 9th round and on. Thank you for tuning in to the first Fantasy Puck video. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did, hit that like button. I thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.